real time data saying through automation is a must have for modern businesses to work effectively and deliver to the market faster. Let us explore through this demo video how enterprises can achieve that speed in workflows by integrating WooCommerce with SAP Business One with the help of Appsy Connect. Let's check out the demo video. Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look how Appsy Connect helps to sync data between WooCommerce and SAP P1. To begin with, log in to the Appsy Connect portal. Here you can see the package we are going to use for this integration, which is already shared in this organization. If the package is not available here, you can go to the marketplace and here you can find your process flow and you can install it. And once it is installed, it will be available under the install process flow section. So you have to open the process flow and here under the install process flow section, once your process flow is installed, it will going to show here. Let me expand it. If I click on the version, in that case in the right side, all the integration points which is included in this WooCommerce and SAP B1 package will be showing here. Here from the context menu, select this edit option. This will open the process flow. Once the process flow is loaded here, select this deploy option and here select your preferred deployment environment from this choose environment drop down. You can choose host state or on-premise. Here I have chosen for example this on-premise one and from here all the environment which are activated those will be showing you can choose your one and moving to the next in setup connection you can set up your WooCommerce and SAP Business One credential so from here whatever the WooCommerce credential will be there you have to just choose both for that like for WooCommerce as well as the SAP Business One once you have chosen the credential, moving to the next. After that, moving to the next and from here, you can choose automatic sync or manual sync. Both are available for all the integration point. For auto sync, you can put your timing frequency here and you can set your interval like for one minute or for five minutes, the data will get sync. You can set your timer here and you can finish this process. If you wish to have this integration in manual mode, in that case, you have to just toggle it and it will be saved as manual mode for now I'm keeping it automatic and I have set this one minute frequency and the interval is one minute so let me just finish as you can see the process flow has deployed now I'm going to synchronize the data from WooCommerce to SAP V1 for that I'm going to use the sales order add integration point well the customer and product has already synced in both ways so those are available both direction I will choose the sales order now so here you can see I have opened the front end of the WooCommerce side and where I have already logged in as a customer which has already synced from WooCommerce to SAP V1 for now I'm going to the shop so I can place in sales order for that particular customer let me choose an item which I already have in my SAP B1 and WooCommerce both side. Here is the item you can see the stock is already available so let me move it to the cart. Going to the view cart segment and here let me apply all the details the shipping is already calculated and the addresses are already given so I'm moving to the checkout option so billing address has been already provided so if you wish to add different shipping address you can uncheck it and you can put down the shipping details for now I'm just keeping it the same and moving to the next so as you can see here already all the details have been provided now I will choose the payment option so for now I'm using this cash and delivery option and place this sales order so the order has been placed and as this integration point has been set as automatic mode so in that case I don't have to trigger any process flow it will automatically get sync it will be available here in the SAP B1 side let me go to the SAP B1 here in SAP B1 let me open the sales order I'm opening the last one 
all the details which we have provided in the WooCommerce site, it has, all these details has been sent here properly. We can see the line item information, the exact rate charges which we have provided, everything has sent. If we just go to the logistic tab, the different addresses for that particular customer has sent here. And the right side, you can find out the exact order ID so you can check it. So if I go to the front end, it is 64736 and if I open the SAPB1, it has, has been synced as in return entity ID here. A duplicate check will always be on the top of this ID. So if it is already present in your SAPB1 side, it will not synchronize again. So there will be no chances of duplicate scenario at all. And we have added only the default fills for this particular demo. But if you wish to add some more details that can be configured easily. We hope you have this demo video helpful. SME Business One and WooCommerce integration made easy with AppSy Connect Modern iPaaS. The SAP Business One and WooCommerce Connector can automate critical business process and streamline your organization data efficiently. Just like SAP B1, you can connect your WooCommerce with other ERP segments, for example, Dynamics Business Central, Dynamics Shippy, or Sage 300, etc. Vice versa, you can connect the SAP one with different e-commerce, for example, Magento, WooCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce, etc. Also, if you wish, sync the CRM with SAP one or the ERP, you can do it as well. For example, we have connected for Salesforce, SAP one Zoho SAP one etc. For more details, please visit our website www.appsyconic.com. You can start your integration journey with AppSyconic now.